Hi, welcome to Sharon Shanklin Studio, and today we're going to continue our lesson on how to iron silk onto freezer paper. And today we're going to be ironing um, sh silk charmeuse onto freezer paper. So we'll just use this machine hemmed 8x54 silk scarf. It's already been ironed. I ironed it after I washed it. I always wash my charmeuse before I, before I paint it. So my freezer paper, I've cut it in half, so it's about a half inch bigger on each side than my charmeuse. And on my iron, now on charmeuse, I actually go up to my linen setting, which is two, three higher than my silk setting but you probably don't want to start that high. I would start at least one setting higher than silk because it's got to get through the charmeuse and get it to adhere to the freezer paper, get the freezer paper to adhere to it. But you might, you'll want to start lower setting and then move up so that you don't ruin your silk. So once my silk's where I want it and my steam is off, I will go ahead and start in the middle of the scarf and push one way and then the other way, steaming or um, ironing silk charmeuse onto freezer paper takes a little bit longer than ironing flat crepe or half a tie. You'll want to make sure that your corners are down nice and well. I like to back up the iron to the square edge of the iron and make sure that that's adhered that way. And then don't go off of your freezer paper. If you do, you'll get residue on your iron. You'll need to paint that off before you put it on the silk again. After you've done one little section, you'll want to test to see how well you're adhered. Your silk should come off about like that. If you can't pull your silk off of the freezer paper, then you've ironed it with too hot of an iron and you've actually melted the freezer paper into the silk and you have to discard it. Um, we haven't found a way to get the get the freezer paper plastic off of the silk. But you'll want to make sure that you check on that because it's um, very disappointing to go ahead and spend a bunch of time um, painting your silk, silk, especially if you've got new students, and then find out later that you can't get the silk off of the freezer paper. So you'll check that as uh, first off, and then you'll just start going down. You're going to start in the middle of your scarf and push to one side, right to the edge. And then you'll come back and push your silk so that it's straight over to the other side. Pay special attention to your hem so that your hem doesn't curl up on you. And then you'll continue down just like this. If you get a wrinkle in your scarf, then you can simply pull the scarf back to that point and reset it and start over. And we're almost finished. So if your charmeuse is not sticking to the freezer paper, the first thing to check is to make sure that your freezer paper has the shiny side up and that it's not just sticking to your ironing board. That's why I've protected my ironing board with a, my ironing board cover with a sheet because occasionally that mistake happens and um, you don't want to get that plastic on your ironing board cover because then you'll you wouldn't want to iron silk on it after that. So I'm coming down to the end here. And again, I'm just starting in the middle, pushing the wrinkles out to one side, pushing the wrinkles out to the other side. And then I'm going to turn my iron around and go right to the edge. do one final pass just on the corners here to get them to stick down. And then I'll look back for areas like I see that this is not adhered well here. So 
So I'm just going to go back and put a little more heat on that area. So you want to make sure that your sides are tacked down nice and tight. I would recommend the first time you do this, take a scrap piece of silk and um, try it on multiple different settings on your iron until you find the right setting to get it to adhere, adhere perfectly to your silk. So that's it. It's adhered to the breezy paper. You can see there's a little section there I could redo, but the rest of it looks tacked down pretty good. And then it's ready for painting. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you next time. Bye now.